Today, we're gonna to be covering the topic of D3O and why you should be excited. Stay tuned. What's going on guys, it's Quizzy Dog here, and like I said before, today we're going to be going over a brief demonstration and description as to what exactly D3O is and why it's beneficial for us in the consumer electronics world. I also want to make sure that I mention that this video is not sponsored. All views and opinions are my own. However, we will be taking a look and using a D3O demonstration kit from Gear 4 to make sure that we go over exactly what the use cases are, along with my Piccadilly case. I did a dedicated video on this, you guys can see it in the cards above, but why exactly it's important to have D3O within an actual case itself and what makes it so good. So let's first take a look at what's in here and then we'll go over exactly what D3O is. All right, so here is the actual demonstration kit itself. It's comprised of a few different things, but the main thing that we're gonna be looking at would be D3O in its raw state, which is in this guy right here. Now, one thing that's pretty cool with this stuff is it sort of reminds me of the old Silly Putty or Nutty Putty. Get this out of the jar. You guys can see that it is very stretchy, very stringy, very fun to play with. Again, this is D3O in its raw state. It's not refined in any way. So this is just kind of the, the goopy goodness that is D3O. Now what's really neat is uh, this is a non-Newtonian fluid, similar to uh, when you used to make that cornstarch water material that if you touched it lightly, it was very malleable, and then if it took an impact, it was very, very resistant. This is the exact same principle. So you can see if we're very gentle, it's very stringy, it's very goopy, it's very easy to work with. But if we go ahead and we tug, you can see that the molecules actually lock up super tight, allowing us to rip that in an actual, a very clean rip. Let me try to do that again. You guys can see there's there's really no stretch there. It's, it's a nice flat rip on both sides, which is super, super cool. Now, as far as it being able to take an impact, one thing that I like doing is we're gonna make sort of a little tower, and I'm sorry if I end up playing with this fluid a little bit more than actually demonstrating it, but let's make a little tower here. We're gonna, we're gonna say that's good enough. And there's a little hammer in here, this guy right here, a little billy club, not to get confused with what it kind of looks like, but I'm gonna let your dirt, dirty minds wander on that one. So here is the actual D3O. And again, if we're nice and gentle, you can see that it's very malleable. It almost just melts right under the weight of the hammer. But if we go ahead and we make a little tower again and we hit it, whew, it's stuck to that a little bit. I'm gonna have to brace it down a little bit. We hit it, you can see that in this case, all the molecules are locking up pretty well solid and the D3O is not melting like it was before. And we can go one step further. I'll flatten this out a little bit, maybe put it over two fingers. So you can really hammer down on this stuff. And this is, this is a real hammer. This is not a, a joke or a gag. I demonstrate on my table, but it would honestly dent my Ikea tabletop. Um, but that, that didn't hurt at all. You can see that my fingers are real, they're intact. Uh, and that's just how, how strong and how durable the D3O can be when the molecules really take some time and lock up. So unlike rubber and things like that that will dampen a shock, uh, with this, when it actually takes that abuse and takes that hit and the molecules lock up, it will try its best to disperse all of that energy across the entire surface of the D3O, not just one impact site. So when you look at smartphone cases and things like that on the market, you're gonna see a lot of uh, sort of advertisement around air pockets in the corner to uh, dissipate shock and things like that. With a D3O case, you're gonna be able to rest assured and rest easy knowing that your impact is actually dispersed across the whole case, which is really, really cool. Uh, another little demonstration, and again, I, I keep playing with this stuff. I swear to God, this stuff is just like, just like Silly Putty, I love it. So we're gonna put this back for a second and we're gonna take out this little puck. Now this puck is a refined piece of D3O. 
So of course the application isn't just for smartphones, they make NFL helmets, not the helmet itself, but the inner actual uh, shell that goes close to your head. Uh, NHL will actually use D3O as well, motorcycle gear, um, uh, construction gear and, and heavy machine operators, a lot of their gloves and things like that are gonna have D3O in it because it's very easy to mold, it's very easy to work with, it's very flexible if let's say you have it in a glove, but it will always try to spring back to its original shape. So you can see that I've pushed and I've prodded and I've bent this refined piece quite a bit. And in this case, it still goes back to looking like a puck. So here, we're gonna have a little ball bearing. Now, this ball bearing is actually gonna represent the dampening properties of D3O. So if we use this ball bearing just on the tabletop, and please watch your ears for a second. It bounces, it's loud, nothing's dispersing that impact. I, well, I didn't mark up my table too bad. Now, if we actually allow this to fall on the D3O, if I actually line this up properly, you can see that the D3O has the ability to dampen that fall it reduces the bounce back, providing I can get it in the middle and it doesn't roll off, but it reduces the bounce back and it ends up giving us a nice dead stop. So, now that I've shown you guys the raw and the refined, again, rip ears. In this case, I have no problem doing that with the Piccadilly smartphone case because at the end of the day, I've played with the material in both states. I know what it's capable of and that's actually exactly how I demonstrate this case in a retail environment. I do work for a cell phone carrier. I do sell in a local retail store. And I mean, Gear 4 has not sponsored my original uh, review. They didn't sponsor this sort of demonstration. This is just my major beliefs within D30 and what it can do. Where I, I gotta stop saying D30, it's D3O. Um, but with this, I'm just, I'm so confident with the material. I absolutely love it as far as protection. And I mean, if I was honestly ever in the market for any other protection, like motorcycle jackets or anything like that, I would really take a look at what on the market has D3O for myself personally, just because I believe in it that much. So if you guys found this small little demonstration at all helpful, I would really appreciate a like on the video. And if you haven't subscribed and you happen to be new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we will have some more great content coming out in the future. Until the next video, guys, for now, my name is Quasi Dog. You guys have been awesome. And we'll catch you all in the next one.